How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so this one is the monthly roundup one. I have remembered to do it this time. Not only have I remembered to do it this time, but I actually uh, managed to figure out when I needed to film it. <laughs> so this is technically pretty much the end of the month. It's the 24th when I'm filming this. So there's only like six days left of the month. So it is technically the end of September. So it's perfectly fine for me to be filming the monthly roundup now. Um, I've got one other vlog that will be going up next Friday. I might need to swap the vlogs around. <laughs> now that I think about it, I might need to swap the, the vlogs around. Um, but I might sort of like stick with them being in the order that I think that they need to, to go up in. Um, we'll see what happens during the week. I mean, if this one goes up a week later, then it goes up a week later. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's still pretty much on time anyway. Um, Okay, so enough babbly 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 stuff. <laughs> um, so my September has been a lot of a mixed bag, um, is probably the best way of putting it. Um, so some of the highlights were um, I've got to see my little brother during the course of this month. Um, so he came down for a week. Um, earlier in the month, um, I got to see him twice, got to see him once with my dad and then once with, with my mum as well. So it was really nice seeing him and it wasn't just really nice seeing him, he also uh, told me how proud he is um, for you know, how, how I've come out and, and you know, he's uh, told me that I seem like really happy now that I've come out and he's told me how much of an ally he is for me and for you know everything so that was really good, that was really nice. Um, very nice positive experience with, with my little brother and I would say I'm equally close to both of my brothers um, but certainly growing up I spent a lot of time sort of um, playing games with my younger brother and hanging out with my younger brother so um, although yes as an adult um, I, I feel like I'm equally close to both of my brothers I spent about an equal amount of time sort of talking to both of my brothers my younger brother is probably still the one that I like talk to and share stuff with um, just because growing up we were sort of um, more compatible uh, personality types for a lot of things um, but unfortunately that also meant we were more likely to fight like cat and dog uh, because we were so similar personality wise um, whereas my older brother was has a very sort of different personality type to the two of us. Um, he's a lot more sort of like confident and outgoing and spent a lot more time sort of like with his friends rather than necessarily uh, doing stuff with us. So the relationship we both have with him is, is different to the relationships with the you know, sibling relationship the two of us have with each other. So yeah, it was it was really nice sort of seeing him. It was really nice sort of like hearing like his words of support in and um, the fact that he feels like I've never been as happy as I am now um, sort of goes, it sort of feels like proof that I've made the right choice, even though I shouldn't need proof that I've made the right choice. I know I've made the right choice, but it kind of, it sort of reinforces this, this idea that yeah, I've made the right choice um, in coming out and being true to myself and to the feelings that I have. And because I'm like, yes, I'm non-binary, yes, I'm by gender, yes, I am both male and female um and yeah okay there's a lot of confusing emotions still that sort of come with that and there's a lot of stuff that i need to pick through and work through to sort of you know reach as i said my my ultimate transition goals and to figure out what my ultimate transition goals are with with the situation um to know that you know my my little brother who has known me his whole life has never seen me this happy um is sort of a good sign that yeah I have made the, the right choice and yeah okay it's not going to be easy and yeah there's still going to be lots of stuff ahead of me that's not necessarily going to be the most fun to deal with um, but I have made a, a decision that has had an instant impact on you know 
how other people see my mood and how other people are seeing you know, how I'm reacting to stuff. And then one of the things I sort of said to him was, it's easier to be genuinely happy when you're happy and complete um, than when you're happy but incomplete. And you know, accepting that being non-binary is, is a part of myself has made me complete as a person. So it's it's easier for me to be sort of like truly happy than than to not be. Um, Look, he, well, it wasn't just the non-binary stuff that he he said made has has clearly made an impact on me. He's also seen pictures of me with a cute friend, and he's never seen me as happy in a relationship either. So <laughs> he's he sort of like, in general, all of this stuff that that's gone on and all these changes that are going on in your life, clearly making a very positive impact. So um, yeah, so it's nice seeing my little brother. So that was one of the positive things. Obviously, I got to see the cute friend again, um, sort of just after I'd, I'd seen my little brother, I, I uh, went up to Exeter to, Exeter? No, Bristol. <laughs> Let's get, like, Exeter, Exeter is uh, never rated, no. Um, and, and Exeter appears in the never rated books quite a bit, so that's why I, my, my brain kind of defaults to Exeter. Um, now I got to, to go up to Bristol, it was... Not the fun, most fun travelling up there, but it was a great six hours spent up there with a cute friend. It was a really nice experience. We both got a, a really good sense of what a day in Exeter is actually going to feel like. Um, when we sort of meet up next time, we can then make sort of like better plans and actually do more interesting stuff than necessarily just walking aimlessly for six hours, pretty much. Although, to me, that's kind of fun in and of itself. Um, as I've mentioned before, one of the things that I used to do a lot as a teenager was just walk aimlessly with my friends for about that length of time. You know, sometimes we'd sit down and chat for a little bit. Sometimes, you know, if, when we were hungry, we'd stop and we'd, we'd eat for a little bit. Um, but we would spend, like, pretty much an entire day just walking a big, long circuit of Plimpton um, numerous times. <laughs> I'm surprised I wasn't fitter as a teenager, to be honest. Um, so yeah, but for me, just like being with somebody that you really care about, um, just walking aimlessly and just talking about stuff, just, you know, that to me in and of itself is a really nice day spent with somebody that you care about. Um, so to me, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't see how we could have topped our first trip to Bristol uh, by doing anything else. However, I know that it would be nice to actually visit Bristol whilst we were in Bristol <laughs> and actually do day trips and actually sort of spend time sort of like, you know, taking in all the things that we can be doing in Bristol and and stuff like that as well. So on the one hand, yes, absolutely. There are probably going to be times when we go to Bristol and all we do is we walk aimlessly and that's going to be fantastic and other times we, we're going to go okay so we know what six hours actually feels like in Bristol so we know we've got plenty of time to do this um, but maybe we do this and then we do like a bit of wandering or we do this and we might have time to do this we'll see how how long it takes us to actually do this but um so yeah that that's all like the positive stuff that's all the nice that's all the nice good stuff um that's happened this month and it's it's great <laughs> um and then my laptop died, which was one of the bad things that happened this month. That's, this is one of the reasons why I'm thinking I need to get the last, the one that I filmed prior to this one up before this one goes up, because I do go into more details about what happened to my laptop in that one. However, if I do swap the order, uh, know that I do go into more details with what happened to my laptop in that one. I have a nice new laptop now. I've had it for just over a week at this point uh, so I've not had it very long so you can see how recent like like all this stuff um, has been um, so this is like the second vlog I am filming on this laptop um, so yeah it, it's, it's really nice it's really smooth laptop so far I'm, I'm having a really nice positive experience with the laptop so far but the whole experience of the laptop being broken and the stress of trying to get the new laptop when deliveries were not happening properly and stuff like that. I don't remember if I mentioned that in, in the other vlog, but 
oh my god, that was a headache and a half. Um, it took like three times longer than it needed to in order to get the new laptop. Um, and I got a bit worried about you know whether or not I'd be able to get the vlogs that I planned for that week up that week and stuff like that. So yeah, it was um, it was very much that. It was very much that kind of <laughs> that kind of stress. Um, and then the other thing, less positive thing that um happened, and this is the most recent thing. Is this arm is uh, hurting? I don't know what they've done to it. And when I say the arm is hurting, it's literally this area. This mostly this, but it does sort of like go down in here, and it does sort of like go over here a little bit. And sometimes it will go like that bit as well. But it is it's mostly this. Um, and it's mostly like if I'm moving it too much or if I'm lifting it too much, it doesn't hurt too much if I'm not doing anything with it. Although. It, it can niggle a little bit sometimes, but it, it's usually fairly okay if I've got it stationary and I don't have any pressure going through it or, uh, or anything like that. I don't know what I did. I'm not 100% sure if the pain started on Sunday or if it started on Monday. I know it was definitely there by Tuesday and that it had definitely been there for at least a day by the time we reached Tuesday. Um, because Tuesday was the day that it became very painful, so... It didn't start off like super super painful it became very painful on the tuesday and on the tuesday it did feel like it was coming from above or at least it felt like it was coming from above whilst i was in work once i'd actually gotten home and whilst i was sort of like doing the, the sort of the fitness boxing um and stuff like that that's when i realized it was no it was more coming from from the armpit area so it's more coming from underneath um it's just been hurting since then I've not currently gone to the doctor about it because it's been less than a week and it's probably it's probably strained or sprained or something along those lines that's just going to heal on its own anyway. I'm doing my best to rest it as much as possible. Um, I'm very used to like resting my limbs in work. By limbs, I mean resting my arms in work, especially like my right arm because. Um, because of the fine myalgia and because of having mobility, I do like occasionally just get like random like pain in my arm anyway, or my arm will feel like really numb or it'll just it won't feel quite right. And during those situations, whichever arm it is, I usually just like I just have it across there, not held with anything, so I can sort of like use it if I absolutely need to, but I'll just work one handed for a while. Um it's usually in my right arm, so I'm very used to having to do things with just my left arm. Which is <laughs> great fun. It's perfect. Absolutely what you want to do is just work with your with your left arm when you are right handed. Um, I'm mildly ambidextrous because of various things that I did as a child where you had to use both hands for certain things and you had to like learn sort of like quite fiddly things uh, with both hands. So it's not like impossible for me to sort of like the, the one major thing I can't do is write and I have noticed that writing is yeah definitely not the most fun activity to be doing at the moment because like i don't know if it's just the way that i write but i find like the pressure is just going up there and it is it is hurting quite a bit um but then a lot of things will hurt me to do whilst i would like it yeah just my body sucks just in general um as i said i'm fairly certain it is just a strain or a sprain of some form no idea how i've done it um but I do have a habit of doing things in work that I shouldn't necessarily be doing. I quite often end up like straining around here or you know straining around there, and you know that might hurt for like a few days. This is probably the most painful uh, an injury has been. Although saying that, when I sort of like did this area here, where I'm, I'm pretty sure like I tore a muscle on here <laughs> or something. Um, yeah, that that was fairly painful for for a little while. Um, but you know, it, I, I was fairly confident I knew what it was. I just sort of like did my best to sort of rest it as much as possible. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much my strategy with it at the moment. Sort of try to rest it as much as possible. If it is still hurting in a couple of weeks from now, and it's still hurting a lot in a couple of weeks from now, that's the point where it needs to go get investigated properly. Um, but the likelihood is, in, in about a week and a half, it's going to start ebbing away a little bit and or like I mean it, it's sort of ebbing and flowing a little bit as it is now um sometimes it'll be like really really painful and I can't do anything for a while 
sometimes it's like I'll, I'll be able to do like loads and loads and loads and loads and it won't hurt and then all of a sudden it'll just start hurting again so yeah I, I it feels like it's already sort of starting to resolve um fortunately when it's painful it is really painful so that's it's just a little bit annoying at the moment um I mean it might have even resolved by the time this one goes up <laughs> maybe um so as I said, right now I'm just sort of like keeping an eye on it. There's no like obvious swelling. There's nothing um, obviously untowards with it at all. I, you know, I'm very good when I do get a new random pain. I don't have necessarily have an explanation for. I do do my due diligence in making sure that there is no obvious signs of any serious damage, um, because obviously as somebody who does live with chronic pain, um, it is almost second nature to kind of ignore the pain even if it's like really really bad um which means you could potentially ignore something that's maybe you shouldn't be ignoring um as such i always make sure that if it's something that's lasted more than a couple of days um that's when i sort of like start sort of just checking to make sure there isn't anything obvious that is concerning or anything like that but i do notice anything that's when i do sort of like follow up on stuff um, but in, in this case, I've, I've done my due diligence, I've checked, but it's nothing obvious, um, so I don't think it's anything more than necessarily a sprain or a strain or uh, maybe a slightly pulled muscle, in which case it's going to resolve itself by itself as long as I'm giving it as much rest as I can be giving it and I'm not sort of like overdoing anything. Um, obviously because of the type of job that I do, I can't come to a complete stop. I've got two days off now and I'm hoping um, that will help a lot because it, I, you know, apart from doing a little bit of exercise stuff in the morning and I do have to do my food shopping tomorrow. <laughs> um, but again, with my food shopping, I've got my, my pole along trolley so I can avoid putting too much weight down through that arm. Um, but yeah, between um, you know having like the, the two days off and making sure that I'm resting my arm as much as possible whilst I'm at work. Hopefully that should be enough. Um, I have changed, like, I'm still doing the fitness boxing, but I've changed the way that I'm doing the fitness boxing so that I'm, because I, I did notice it did hurt quite a lot when I was trying to do it normally. Um, it means I'm probably not getting as good a workout as I would otherwise, but I'm still, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm doing it fully on this side and then sort of like half doing it on this side and doing it very gently and very carefully on this side because, yes, it is important to rest your body um, when you have an injury, but you can overrest things and when you have a body that is prone to getting stiff for absolutely no reason, um, I find it's easier just, I'm just very lightly doing the exercises, I'm just very carefully doing the exercises, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not doing it in a way that hurts, and I'm not doing it in a way that puts extra stress or extra strain onto it, I'm being very, very careful, but just giving it that little bit of movement and giving it that little bit of motion stops it from getting really stiff, which is something that I am at risk of because of the conditions that I suffer from, um, which again is why I'm occasionally like stretching the arm out, like lifting the arm out, just stretching it carefully and like in a supported way, because again, like because my body is so prone to um, to stiffening up, to muscle wastage and stuff like that, it's very important for me to make sure that I'm not just not using it at all and not doing anything with it at all because although that is the, like, the ideal situation and that might help it heal a little bit faster in my case it might also cause other complications which might mean that the pain goes on for longer or it doesn't heal as well as it could or it causes more complications down the line and yeah it's just kind of a double-edged sword so I'm being very careful with what I do with it I'm exercising it a little bit and giving it a little bit of um, movement and activity so that it like the joint itself doesn't develop any issues and problems because of the conditions that I have but as much as possible I am trying to rest it and, and hopefully um, hopefully in a week from now it will have either maintained <laughs> the amount of pain that I'm in at which point I know it's something that I need to get investigated all the pain will have started to ease off and to ebb away properly and I will know that no I was right it's just a strain it's absolutely fine um but yeah that's 
that's my September. Some good stuff has happened, some annoyingly bad stuff has happened, um, so it's been a bit of a mixed bag, but overall it has been a fairly good September, I guess. Uh, I think the positives outweigh the negatives quite a bit, so I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting, that's where I spent so long then, just like talking about a random injury which is probably not going to be an issue by the time this one goes up but that's just the kind of mood I've been in with it this week is that the second one it's been painful it's been very very painful and it's been almost unbearably painful so yeah it, it's not something that I can just like mentally ignore um which does then end up coming out in these vlogs a little bit so <laughs> yeah anyway I hope you found this roundup sort of interesting I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time and I will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya